All right, guys, so now we're going to install a new power cord um, to the uh, electric jackhammer. Um, I don't want to go too long of a cord. You can grab an extension cord, like maybe a 10 footer, and get a nice thick gauge extension cord. Cut the female side off, and you got a cord. Um, this one came off of a uh, electric pressure washer that was no good you know and I just cut the pigtails off um, the jackhammer has ha had a couple issues I did brushes on a different video um, I thought that was probably the problem but uh, it turns out right in here is just shorting out uh, but whatever it it actually when I wiggled it around it actually hit harder with those new brushes so it was almost time for that many ways so we're going to go ahead and pop this apart. I'll put the, a little extension cord in the description that you could you know, use to do this. So first thing we're going to want to do on this specific model, uh, it, it, and it, they're all basically going to have the same kind of deal. It's going to have a part of the handle where the cord goes in that splits separately from the rest of the handle. So it's this one has three Phillips head bolts. It's going to pop them free. Oh, and these ones are all stripped out, so that's really freaking awesome. Mm. Oh, these are going to be fun. All right, we're going to pull out some tricks out of our handbag. I'm not going to try to get too crazy on them, but uh, I have like a flathead screwdriver that I've cut off, the handle off, and you want to tap straight down until you get a notch. And then you can tap to the side where it's counterclockwise rotation and get it to break free. Nope, starting to turn finally. Is it? Fuck. It does not want to act right at all, does it? Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, it's moving. I got to move, break free a little bit. And I had to tap the Phillips head back in it. I'm try tapping down on this. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to break it free. Yep. Let's find me a spot. There, it turned a little bit. Bit of a pain in the ass, but in reality, I should go and buy new Phillips heads. But I'm too lazy for that. Let's see if I can just bang down on this one. It was trying to grip. No, nope, need to break it free. So I'm gonna get down on it pretty good. A little groove started. And then break it free. Come on, baby. There it goes. Good times. Got him. All right. That was a pain in the ass. All right, and then we got, um, there's always a block holding the cable in place. Make sure it's not plugged in, too, when you're doing this. Pop the screw out.
Okay, so we've got So this is going to be spliced in here because I don't want to tear into it too far. So I'm thinking this is black. You know, it's a blue color. White, red, and black. Is that what the three colors are? Let's see here. Hopefully this cord's got me. Oh yeah, look. White, blue, and black. Hmm. We're going to have to break out the multimeter on this one because it's got funky colors. Alright, let me splice this cord open real quick. The new cord. Alright, so we're going to figure out which wires are which. Um, so we got the plug. This is missing the ground. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But it's going to plug in like this. So this is going to be the right side for today's argument. So this is the right of the ground here is the right side. We've got the multimeter set at ohm. So when you touch together, it makes a noise. So we're going to put the ground here on this on the right side, and then we're going to touch the wires. Okay, it's the white one. White is the right. And then we're going to take this guy that's plugged in. And on this one, it's only two wires. Oh no, it's three wires too. So we're going to go to the right again. And we're going to find out which one it is. It's going to be this blue one here. So let me uh, cut and splice that real quick, so we know if that's what it is. No, it's not that one. Oh. Hmm. Four o'clock. We take card. You want to pay the rest in card? Huh? We take card. You want to pay the rest on card? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ronnie, could you take care of him for 50 more, please? All right, so I can't get that one to beep. It's obviously the one that's disconnecting. So uh, we're going to go to the ground. That's going to obviously be this one. Oh, look, that's not going either. What is this one? None of them are ringing. It's all messed up. Dang. Okay, there we go. That one's the right one. All right, so white is going to go where the brown is. Let me write that down. Rather than writing it down, let me just go ahead and put it on there. White is going to go to the brown. Get that guy out. Get the white guy. And then uh, I pull the cap off of these. Find the right shrink. Right side so shrink tube. I'm gonna to have to cut this in half. I'm gonna put 
this on here. Wanting to be a pain in the butt. Then I crimp it in place. Then I like to get the solder out and we're gonna solder this into place. And your solder gun, a little bit of solder, push this down, it freaking heats it up. I'll put these in the description below. We're going to get this down on here, push this down, get her nice and hot. There it goes. like that that's done and then we're going to take the uh, shrink wrap um, with my little heater let me plug this thing in slide the shrink wrap up it get a nice one there I'll put this tool in the uh, description below. They aren't that expensive. Super handy. Boom. Just like that. She's ready to go back on here. Take our Phillips head, get it started. Slid on in place, get it tightened down like so. Okay, and then uh, we get a pretty sure that the green one is going to be this guy here, but we're going to go ahead and ohm it out, find out. Let's see if we can open it out. Oh. to uh problem with this thing being messed up like this. These two, oh, we roll them out. I already did this one. Alright, so and this one is to the left. That is this one here. It's 
that one there. So that goes to this wire right here. So we're going to take the new one, left side. Pretty sure it's the black wire. Nope. Oh, did I do this wrong? Yeah, it got me. Oh, this is a pain in my butt. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah. Going the wrong way. There we go. That is going to be the black wire. So, the black wire goes to this one here. So, let's cut this a little shorter. on there I use the butt connectors with no plastic but if you get the ones with plastic just grind the plastic off I'm going to take a long piece of tube I'm going to run it down this wire all the way we're going to take this crimp it on there on this side that there's a little bit of copper showing so I can get the solder into it I'm going to splice this guy out here get him into the butt connector a little bit of wire showing so that we can uh solder it to the wire too. Mm. Like so make sure these are nice and crimped tight. Mm. There we go. Then we're gonna take our solder gun set it up here getting nice and hot hold on where's my solder there we go I don't understand why this isn't going. I'm going to put this a new tip, maybe. Cut the tip off of it. What the heck? I'll clean this off. Try it again.
There's one side. Now I get the other side. Kind of being a pain in the butt. It doesn't always solder easy. Find a spot to go here. Got that side. I'm going to take this shrink wrap, slide it right up on. Oh, nope, I guess I didn't have it soldered on that side. Let me try again. Back. Shrink wrap that thing now. Leaves the last one, which is the ground. Let's go there. Last one's the ground. Phillips head. I'm gonna take that out. All right, then we just take this Phillips head out. And then we got one more. I'm gonna pull this red cap off of this, so that I can crimp it on there. Get me a little bit of heat shrink on there. Down into position. Oh, it does not want to fit in there, right? Here we go. It's because it's a red one. I didn't have a blue one that size, but it's in there. We'll crimp it on and then solder it in place. On there good and tight. Solder in place like that. A little solder mark on it. Get this up to level. And we're gonna heat it on. Just like that. Now we're going to screw this down into place. There it was. in here like so where it won't get pinched at all and then that little piece that went here get it down in place Nice and 
tight. Like so. Make sure all this is shoved down in place. Then we're going to get this uh, handle back on here. Like so. Ghost head screwdriver. These bolts back in. Two, three, get them all tightened down, tighten it down, tighten it down. down. Alright guys, that's it. I mean, it took a little bit, but that's how you get the wire, rewire, uh, anything really but uh this is a uh, electric jackhammer all right guys this helped you out in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button here let me fire it up for you so you can see it run it in no fire there she goes She's running yeah. yep, she's doing her thing Alright guys, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'll put the parts in the description below. Uh, if you want to do any advertising through my channel, message me. I'm more than happy to have you. Peace.